Okay, let's make him happy and we add some monsters. Double click the work area, select sprite, place it somewhere, open, and monster. Good. And let's save it. Okay, rename is the sprite to monster. Now let's run the game to determine what we want to do next. Okay, this is a game. The monster is just standing there, no fun. And when we shoot, the bullets fly right through. We can click as many times as we want. It doesn't die. So let's make the monster take hit when we shoot. To make this more understandable, I'm going to copy the, the sprite of the monster. Select monster, hold control key down and drag it somewhere else. Control, drag and control drag. Now we have three monsters. Each monster is an object. Each object can contain information. Let's see how the common name work. If we rename this object to Mr. Blob, will the rest of the object keep their names? So this is now Mr. Blob and we select his brother and check properties. So his brother is also called Mr. Blob. The common name is treated as a group name. You can say that each monster is of type Mr. Blob or each monster is now of type monster. When we shoot a monster we want each monster to remember its hit count. So when we shoot this monster two times then it doesn't mean that this monster get hit two times. And that is because each monster have its own private information or its own private variables. So let's look at the private variables in properties. We want each monster to have a hit count. So click add. Click the green plus. Name the variable. The rest is fine. And click done. Just to make this more clear we can select the next object and check its private variables and you have hit count. They all have a hit count variable but each monster have its unique value or information.